Hello fun people, I'm Isaac Carlson and today I want to explore the dramatic and surprisingly heartbreaking backstory of the comedian of the Furious Five, Master Monkey. And as always, I've linked the rest of the Master's backstories that I've done previously down in the description for you to check out after this one. You see, this golden snub-nosed monkey was raised by his mother along with his older brother Wu Kong and grew up feeling like a joke, especially in his village after slipping on a banana peel and losing his pants, he was scarred by how horrible it felt to be laughed at which led him to take out his pain onto others. As a child, Monkey attempted to avoid being the butt of jokes at all cost, often leading to him to pull pranks on everyone around him so that he could laugh at them before they could do it to him. And truly, Wu Kong had no problem becoming a troublemaker with his brother. But while Monkey just wanted to mess with everyone and pants people, Wu Kong began to fall into a life of crime. Now, it's unclear whether or not Monkey initially pulled his older brother into his pranks or if Wu Kong started to convince Monkey to harm others to make themselves laugh, but in either case, they were bringing out the worst in one another and they were beginning a journey that would tear them apart, which I think is one of the greatest dynamics throughout Monkey's story and is the one that changed him the most. You see, Wu Kong not only was stealing from the villagers around him, but he also made sure Monkey never had any kind of love or relationship as a child. No matter what Monkey did or how much he tried to impress the girls around him, none of them ever noticed him. They only saw and adored Wu Kong until Monkey met a girl named Yaya. As was the case for my high school relationships, uh, the two kids quickly did everything together and fell in love. Monkey finally had someone who accepted him for him, who didn't laugh at him, and chose him over Wu Kong. But eventually, Yaya turned her back on Monkey and cheated on him with his own brother. An absolute devastating moment. Cheating is one of the worst things that can happen in a relationship, but the sting would be so much worse if it happened with a brother. That was just so horrible of Wukong to do. But his disappointment in his older brother only got worse when his criminal life grew to the point where he was arrested and imprisoned. Wukong had brought shame to Monkey's family, which particularly hurt their mother, but his wrongdoings were far from over. Monkey would see Wukong again, but we'll talk about that event later. Until Monkey and his brother met again, he continued his playful nature and wild pranks and he became pretty adept at avoiding punishment. With acrobatics, quick movements, tons of energy, and an unpredictable style, the villagers struggled to remove him from their home even when they made attempts to do so with force. But no matter which rhino, crocodile, or ox was sent after Monkey, they all quickly lost their pants and were left humiliated. Once Uguay showed up though, Monkey's shenanigans wouldn't continue much much longer. Though Monkey was extremely fast, Ugwe was slow, precise, and thoughtful about every moment during their fight, allowing the old tortoise to outsmart the skillful fighter. Ugwe didn't want to hurt him, which was why Ugwe moved him out of the way of a falling pillar that almost killed him, but he did want him to be humbled and to realize that his gifts could be used for good. Young warrior, find the one thing that you were denied so long ago. My pants? compassion. With the breakthrough that he didn't want to continue to harm everyone around him because of his childhood pain, Monkey followed Uguay's guidance and started treating others as he wanted to be treated, even going to the extent of becoming a guardian for the village. He fought off bandits and threats who arrived at his home and rose to become a respected part of the community. Monkey had put in the work to reform, but that didn't mean he was through trying to make people laugh. In his free time, Monkey took up stand-up comedy, and sure, he didn't have much success, but the role put him into the right position to be recruited by Tigris to come with her to the Jade Palace. While Monkey believed he was making the trip to crack jokes for the Masters, Tigris was actually accidentally recruiting him to fight a giant of a warrior known as Boar. I'm sure to Monkey it just seemed like he was going to get to reconnect with the Master who helped him find a new path in his life, but the truth was he was actually going to realize who Ugwe had always envisioned he would become. Once Tigris had recruited all the warriors, she believed believed she had been tasked with finding to defend the Valley of Peace, it was revealed to Monkey, Tigris, and the rest of the recruits that they were not the warriors Shifu had sent for. But that didn't stop them from going to Tigris' aid when she stood her ground against Boar. Even after they had been turned away by Shifu, they all went to the battle, held Boar off until Tigris could regroup herself and inevitably worked together to take down the threat to the valley. Appreciative of and impressed by what they had accomplished, Master Shifu proposed to Monkey and 
and the rest of the new warriors that they should stay at the Jade Palace so that they could perfect their own styles of Kung Fu. With four fists and the ability to wield weapons, Monkey was ready to unlock his true potential and solidify that his days of hurting others were over. But after Monkey moved into the Jade Palace and he began to learn more about how he could use his speed and agility to confuse and overwhelm his enemies, his brother escaped from prison and restarted his criminal ways, even returning to his mother's home in hopes of robbing her in the night. Once Monkey caught Wukong stealing though, he would not allow his brother to get away with such a horrible act. With a fury and rage within these brothers who had traveled down different paths, they tore each other apart, awakening their mother. But after seeing her only sons battling one another, her heart broke, leading to her collapsing, allowing Wukong to escape. On the floor that night, Monkey was forced to watch his mother die, and with love in her heart for her sons, she requested that Monkey protect the family, and he embraced that mission, though years later, he would expand that scope so that he would not just look after his brother, but he also looked after his family in the Jade Palace. Fun people, I've been sick a lot recently, so it's been kind of difficult to make videos, but even though I haven't been feeling the best, it's so easy to get excited about these amazing Kung Fu Panda backstories, and really a lot of DreamWorks movies, like I've just seen Monsters vs. Aliens for the first time recently, and I'm so excited to make more videos for you, so let me know which character I should break down next in the comments, or over on my Discord, which you can gain access to by joining our community over on Patreon. And subscribe for when those discussions are uploaded. Finally, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a magical day.